I have a plan, but it won't be easy. Abraham is well connected and his pockets are deep. But we have located a man in his inner circle. We will tail him until he reveals our target. Let me bring him to his end. Here he comes now. To celebrate impending victory. Our numbers are many. <laughs> they will not stand a chance. Pity they'll not be invited to see us celebrate before our victory. Quiet. Officers. May I join you? Evening. The more the merrier. I've just come from the barracks. I'm quite certain the new weapons shipments will end our marine problem once and for all. That's the plan. That is the plan. You think they'll be expecting us? Most likely. They always do somehow. But this time, it won't matter. <laughs> Excuse me, I have a private matter to attend before I make my entrance. As do I. We will see you there. Commander be in attendance tonight. Yes, I was just speaking with him. He's here somewhere. A trap was right under our noses the whole time. I've never met a soldier as cunning as Amaru. It's no mistake he's been harder to defeat than the weak who came before him. You know what to do. Too. But our war will be different. In our time, we'll take this land. How can we lose? They're fighting with scabbing shots and living on plantains. It'll be over in the afternoon. Cheers, mate! That's the spirit! Big Rome and Abraham will be alerted. How many years have we fought? Your men in the mountains with no weapons to speak of? And my army resplendent. And yet you live, and I die. You lack the conviction to win.
Here's how it goes. Torres meets with Prince, carrying a portion of the ransom, saying the rest is close behind. When we see the Sage, you bring in the rest of the gold, make the swap, and get out. I'll be watching all from close by. No, Kenway, you run this scheme alone, at the risk of losing the faith of your crew. It makes me ill to think of you bartering with that wretched slave. Come on, mate. Once we have the Sage, we'll all be rich. Not if young Master Kid gets to him first. Kid? Jesus. That lad's here to kill him. Edward! What the hell are you doing here? I'm tailing these men to the Sage. Can you hold off till he appears? The Sage is here. Aye. Uh, and Prince is leading us straight to him. All right, Jesus. I'll stay my blade for a time, but not long. How long has it been since our last meeting, Senor Prince? A year? Near 18 months. You first described this Roberts fellow to me in November of 1715. <laughs> ah, I see. Much has changed in that short time, you know. None called me governor, for instance, where I quit that post last year. Carlo, oh, I was not aware. So many churches in Kingston. Have the English at last taken to converting their slaves to the Christian faith? Ha! Convert them? God knows, Torres. There's none here so foolish as that. Foolish? How do you mean? Is it not a sin to enslave a fellow Christian? Therefore, to transmute a slave's soul from animal to man would be tantamount to inviting one's cattle to the dinner table. Forgive my impatience, but how far is it yet? We are nearly there. Feeling men deserve respect and opportunity. Oh, Spaniards! Sometimes the Moors have diluted your blood and struck your heart. This is not to say I believe in the natural equality of all races or sexes. Surely men with talent and intelligence should leave. But there is no true profit to be gained by the practice of slavery. In the short term, it makes us money, see. But in the long term, it will render us the victims of our own success. Ah, uh, but you and I, sir, old as we are, will not live to see that unfortunate day. So why bother? Virtue, if nothing else. Virtue? Ah, oh, Torres. 
I have no wish to waste my day chattering about slaves and their pitiable condition. Let us conclude this transaction, then celebrate as friends. Uh, there's stories about you too, sir. You were a governor in Florida for a time. See, si, see. Si. I am one of a number of civil servants in my family. A long line of politicians. I have always toyed with the idea of entering politics myself. Only I feel I have too much money and not enough years. Speaking of stories, Prince, I've heard it said you were with Henry Morgan the day he sacked Panama. 1671, was it? Oh, it's all true, yes. But let us not overesteem the honors forged and won on the battlefield. That skirmish was a deadly one and a tremendous waste of coin and resources. It wasn't until many years after that I sheathed my sword in favor of a far safer and yet more profitable venture. Capital and resources, that's where money is made. And sir, let me tell you, honor bought is more enjoyable than honor won, if a touch less permanent. I grow tired of this walk. We must be close. Yes, just here. We must be on equal footing, you see. I don't trust Templars any more than you must trust me. Well, if I had known you were so skittish, I'd have brought you a bouquet of flowers. Oh, I don't know why I bother. For the money, I suppose. The vast sums of money. You, um, you say you came alone, Paris? Not alone, but certainly without colleagues. I took passage aboard a British merchant's brig. Ah. Now's the time! No! Not until we see the sage. Here's a quiet spot. I'll see the money. This is a portion of the ransom. The rest is close at hand. It pains me to traffic someone of my own race for profit, Mr. Torres. Tell me again, what has this Roberts fellow done to upset you? Is this some form of Protestant piety I'm not familiar with? Perhaps another day. What? Next time, see to it that we are not followed! Deal with this! Together. You have your chance. Stay your blade, kid. Wait. Jim, stop. Damn you, old scratch. Keep your natty hands off me. I can't let you kill those men, kid. Not until I found the sage. I've been stalking that pig for a week now, charting his moves, and here I find not one but two of my targets, and you rob me of both. Patience, man. You have your kills. When I locate the sage, you're helping me take Prince. Got that?
Wouldn't you prefer meeting in a pub? I came to Kingston chasing a target. Getting pissed ain't a priority. We could work together on this, you know. It's Lawrence Prince you're after. I want his prisoner. We're after the Sage as well, Edward. Careful who you cross. May the best man win. There's guards patrolling that property from end to end. Looks to me like they use bells to signal trouble. See there? We'll want to disable those before pushing too far. With so many men about, we can't rely on stealth alone, so... I'll do what I can to distract and draw their attention. Giving you a chance to cut them down. Ready? Your name's not James, is it? Not most days. Come on. Before I do, kill him, and there'll be a bit of coin in it for you. All right? Damn, man. How is it you're a woman? Christ, Edward. Is that something that needs explaining? Now, I'm here to do a job. I'll let you be amused later. Hey, wasn't that Spanish fella meant to come up here for a visit? Torres or something. You didn't hear what happened? <laughs> he was by a couple of brigands on his way here. Buccaneers or the like. A nasty business. Jeez. Is he all right? We've got away from what I heard. The prince ain't too happy neither.
Hold your ground! Please, I've been shot. I need aid. Christ, Thompson, look at her. She's hurt. Dreadfully, sir. I'm poorly. All right. I'm faint. Take an arm, lass. Bless you, lads. Prince says to keep your eyes peeled tonight. Says there's some men about bent on making trouble. I'll spread the word. hang over me like a leering crow to see an old man suffer? You've caused no small portion of suffering yourself, Mr. Prince. Retribution, I suppose. You absurd cutthroats and your precious philosophy. You live in the world, but you cannot make it move. You mistake my motive, old man. I'm only after a bit of coin. <laughs> As was I, lad. As was I. I found your man! I remember you. The Templar from Havana. I'm no Templar, mate. That was just a ruse. We've come here to save your ass from this slaver. Save me? I work for Mr. Prince. Well, then he's a poor man to call master. He meant to sell you out to the Templars. Oh, you can't trust anyone, it seems. <laughs>
Lost your man again, did you? Aye. Roberts is a devil with a queer aversion to kindness. I suppose that's two men I've lost today. So, what's your real name, lass? Mary Reed to my mum. And them I call friends. But not a word of it to anyone. Or I'll unman you as well. <laughs>